According to ODOT, there are almost 80,000 miles of certified public roads in the state of Oregon. In today's Behind the Wheel, Tony takes us to the steepest road of them all. Hidden away in the trees of Southwest Portland is a narrow ribbon of asphalt known as Southwest College Street. It's the steepest street in Oregon. This stretch of Southwest College from Cardinal up to 16th is only about 1,000 feet long. But as you ascend, you gain 225 feet in elevation. That slope works out to be a grade of about 32%. To help you visualize how steep the street really is, I could use a level and a tape measure and dazzle you with the power of geometric calculations. Or I could do something simple, like set my water bottle down without having to chase it down the hill. But actually, I think the best way to understand the scope of the slope would be to have my good friend Andy Carson run to the top of the hill as fast as he can. And here he is. <laughs> Buddy, are you ready to go? I think so. That was my warm up. What is your resting heart rate? Uh, it should be around 60. OK, we'll see if we can uh, get that to tick up a little bit. We're going to time you on your marks. Get set. Go! While Andy was busy jogging, I had a chance to explore the neighborhood. The oldest homes near this stretch of Southwest College Street were built around the turn of the century. Back then, cars were a novelty. Most of the roads in Portland were either packed dirt or gravel. Just walking up the road would have been miserable, let alone running. Speaking of which, let's check in on Andy. I don't think I'm getting more tired. I think it's getting steeper. I should stop and read the sign. Well, if you did, you'd see that this stretch of Southwest College Street has always been a one way going down the hill because it's so steep that even if you had a car back in the old days, it wouldn't have had the power to make it up the hill. My shadow looks like I'm running, right? Are we there yet? Mm, not quite. Uh, but while we're waiting for Andy to finish his little trot up Oregon's steepest street, you might like to know that the longest road in Oregon is Highway 30, which runs 477 miles from Astoria all the way to Idaho, the land of famous potatoes. And Oregon's highest road is the 60-mile loop that winds around the top of Steens Mountain at an average elevation of almost 10,000 feet. <sighs> All right, all right, you did it. <laughs> no high fives. I got you in three minutes, two seconds. How do you feel? <laughs> it's really hard. It's hard. Yeah. All right, well, um, there's amazing work there, Andy. This may not be a good time to bring this up, but there are those who say this isn't the steepest street in Oregon, that it's actually Northwest Brynwood yeah. from Miller to Skyline. Yeah. I mean, for science? For science? <laughs> Tony Martinez. Uber. Fox 12, Oregon. It was so hard keeping that a secret from you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so thanks to Andy, thanks to Uncle Rico for yeah. putting that together. And then Ray Pallant, who works up at our graphics, made that adorable map of Oregon, oh gosh, which I love. So I appreciate it. Yeah. There. Yeah. Wait, so I have a question, but the people who think the other road is steeper Greenwood. are wrong, correct? Mm -hmm. That's well, not right, or? Up the most air. of the information comes from cycling, you know, online yeah. forums, you know, where these guys ride straight up these things. And those are the two that they, you know, claim it could be either one of them. Okay. I don't know if anyone's ever officially measured it at the exact point. Yeah. So the mystery continues. Well, either I, way, it was a fun way to educate us all. so fun. Well, you know, I run every day, and that's a fairly short run. But yeah. after doing that run, it, like, took old sludge from the bottom <laughs> of my lungs. <laughs> And, and stirred it up. Yeah, yeah. So Great I was workout. like, yeah, yeah. It was, well, it was we tough. really appreciate it. Thanks. Look at that.